Hi, I'm Chef Steve. Welcome to the Care Kitchen, where we cook with kindness. This program is brought to you by Comfort Care and At Your Side. Comfort Care and At Your Side provides personal care for people throughout the United States and Canada. We're here with our Care Kitchen program every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern, where we feature recipes from the Care Kitchen cookbook, as well as just having some fun being creative, thinking of cooking as a meaningful activity, something that we can do with that person we're caring for, whether it's our family member, whether it's our client, taking care of ourselves or our own family. These recipes and nutritional ideas will really help. So, and it's also simple and fun. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you something that I've already made using cottage cheese because cottage cheese is making a real comeback. And it's a very healthy food, full of protein. It's great for calcium. It really is a tremendous food for people as they age because it supports so many of the issues that older adults face in uh, health challenges. So we're going to get started uh, with this, and I have a, an interesting product to show you, sort of tell you a little bit about what is cottage cheese. I always wondered myself, and what cottage cheese is, it's a fresh cheese that's made when they, when they make the cheese making, what develops are cheese curds, and I've got some cheese curds right here to show you, and these are just these little pieces like this, these are curds, that come through the process of cheese making. They take these curds and then add cream, and that's basically what cottage cheese is. So it's the curds cooked with cream. Now some of the cottage cheese that's being made now has uh, the active cultures in it. That's something that's very good for gut health, for, for digestive system. Uh, just making sure that everything is as healthy as it as possible. So this particular cottage cheese I'm going to use today to make a recipe uh, with this with for you to sh to show you what all the many things you can do with cottage cheese. But one of the things I want to show you I already made it, and this is from the Care Kitchen Cookbook. This is a cottage cheese dip, very simple to make. The recipe's in the book. And I just show it here, serving it with some broccoli florets for a dip. So it makes a nice little appetizer using cottage cheese. So we'll put that aside. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a cottage cheese pancake. This is one of my favorite things to make. And uses cottage cheese. And so it's a higher protein, lower carbohydrate pancake. Very healthy and delicious. So let's get started making that. I've got some pancake mix in this bowl. I've got a cup of pancake mix. In this, I'm going to put in an egg. Get an egg in there. Okay. And I'm going to put in my cottage cheese. It's a very, very simple recipe when you use a pancake mix for this. Okay, so this cottage cheese, as I said, it's got the active cultures in it, very healthy, loaded with protein. So in here, I'm going to put about a half a cup of this cottage cheese. I'm going to add that to our mix. Okay, so let's get this mixed up. I always like to clean as I go. We'll get this mixed up, and we'll start making some pancakes. And that's about as simple as it gets. One thing with this is if your batter gets a little too tight, you can always add a little water to it to thin it out, and that's what's happening here. I've got some water right over here, so that'll add to that. And we'll get our batter so that it's... So we're able to create a nice pancake. We don't want it to be too runny and we don't want it to be too thick. So as you do this, you sort of start getting used to what it takes to make that batter what you want it to be. Okay, so let's add a little bit more water 
to this because it's a little too thick to spoon. So we'll get that, get that together. It looks like it's going to be perfect. Now I'm just going to incorporate that extra liquid into our batter. I've got my griddle here ready to go. Just mix this up just a little bit more. You know, cottage cheese is one of those things that you, you used to see it on menus all the time. People used to eat it. It was a common thing in a, in a like a low calorie plate at a diner. You would get like a hamburger patty, a scoop of cottage cheese, that kind of thing. And it's really now making a comeback because people are realizing it's a high protein food. It's very good for people who are on a keto diets or anything that's low carb because it has lots of protein in it and really good nutrition. So let's get going here with making our pancakes. I got my griddle on. Let's get some butter <clears throat> on the griddle and we'll get started. I'm looking forward to having these today because this is a nice, delicious meal. Great for a cold day, and it certainly is cold here. I'm sure it's cold where you are because most of the U.S. is cold today. And if you're not in the U.S., I don't know what your weather is. But I hope that you're staying nice and warm and enjoying yourself. Okay. Get our pancakes on the griddle. And it couldn't get any simpler than that. But what you're going to get is an amazing, delicious pancake. Okay. So we're going to let those, let those cook a little bit. And, you know, this is an example using the, the griddle. Of course, like getting a really nutritious breakfast, really important as we age. Because, you know, many people in the morning, they're taking their medications. And in many, most cases, you don't want to take medications on an empty stomach. And it just helps when someone is taking medication to just help so that they don't have any stomach distress. You have to make sure that you're eating. So this is a great example of a meal that is easy to make, a great high protein, really hearty meal to absorb all of that stuff so that we can really have just a, a very pleasant time in our eating and digestion. Okay. Well, these pancakes are coming up. Let me turn this down a little bit so we don't get them too dark. Okay. You see they hold together very well. Very nice looking pancakes there. And one thing I do like to do is keep things clean as we go because if you clean as you go, then when it's time to clean up after you finish cooking, it's a lot easier. And I know when I clean as I go and then when I'm left with not too much of a mess, it makes me feel better. When I'm left with a giant mess, uh, you know, it just uh, does something psychologically. So if I clean as I go, I keep my area clean and I keep everything organized, then I can work very efficiently. And that's great, especially when you're doing multiple tasks. You know, you're caring for someone. So you're thinking about what they're doing or something you've got to do and you've got to get a meal on the table. So it's if you're more organized in how you set it up, then it's going to be a lot easier, a lot less stress involved. And you're going to feel better about what you're doing, too. Okay. Let's see what we got going here. We're almost there. These pancakes are cooking up nice. And we're almost getting ready to where we can give them a taste. Sometimes I like to just flip them over one more time. Okay, do a little repair on that one. Okay, we're almost there. We'll give it about another minute and we'll be good to go. Plate it up. And what I've got now, this 
meal really can be served with so many different uh, accompaniments. I like these cottage cheese pancakes with some applesauce and a little sour cream. Uh, they're very good with butter. And I'm going to show you today with a little bit of butter. And I've got some fresh blackberries here. So fruit, anything with it. You could really have this as an accompaniment, a side with another protein source if you wanted to have it for a starch, for instance. But it's a great, great breakfast. So let's get these pancakes on our plate here now and I'm looking forward to giving them a try so let's plate up we got a big order of pancakes here and of course this is another thing you can customize you want to make little tiny pancakes you can make little silver dollar pancakes if you like. And that was a fun thing. A lot of diners would have that. Kids would like that. You know, it's a fun thing to have. So size of the pancake up to you. You like a big flapjack style pancake? Make that. It's just how much batter you put on your griddle. Okay. So we've got the pancakes now on the plate right here. And we'll get a little bit of Butter on top. Nice. And we've got our blackberries right here. Put a few of those on. Scatter those around. And that looks wonderful really looks good so let's give it a taste nice and fluffy pancake very fluffy mm. really good really delicious mm. i got to savor that and i'm definitely going to enjoy that for my meal right after we right after we finish visiting and I'm really enjoying our visit today and it's great to be here in the care kitchen you know this program is brought to you by a comfort Karen at your side and we love being here to share these great recipes many from the care kitchen cookbook and just being creative and generally thinking of food as a meaningful activity a way to engage with others and also to keep ourselves going, you know, it's a fun activity. Cooking is great. You can take care of yourself with health. So not only are you getting a fun activity, but you're also taking care of yourself at the same time. Well, this is Chef Steve here in the Care Kitchen. We're here every Thursday at 1 p.m. where we cook with kindness, and that's the main ingredient. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I look forward to visiting next time. Thanks for spending time with me today. Enjoy your cooking and have some fun.